Hey guys, what's up? It's new. All right, guys. <clears throat> so it looks like our character of the week for episode 17 is going to be Rex Banner. Uh, he was the main character for the 4th of July update that came out just about a month and a half ago. And um, really cool character. I love this guy. He's just awesome. And what's kind of weird is in our character database, it says 4th of July 2013, which is a little um, weird. You know, that it says 2013. I'm you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they made it 2014. But on the other hand, it seems kind of unlikely considering that, you know, Tapped Out is a, you know, national game really. Like everyone around the world plays it. So um, pretty worldwide. So I don't know why. They would bother making another 4th of July, but, um, you know, Shh. shush yourself. Anyway, Rex Banner, really cool character. I, um, he's from the episode Homer vs. the 18th Amendment. Pretty much, um, they're having this huge, um, St. Patrick's Day parade, and somehow Bart gets drunk, and, um, the whole town, you know, is just, like, disgusted about their actions, really, and, um, they decide to ban alcohol and, you know, prohibition starts up again in Springfield. So Rex Banner, who's like an FBI agent kind of guy, like an old timey cop, um, comes, you know, and takes over as police chief. And, um, which is kind of weird because, um, it's, it is really like a patriotic episode if you think about it, you know, with, uh, you know, lots of U.S., you know, history sort of stuff. But it... It takes place during St. Patrick's Day, not 4th of July, so that's a little thing that's sort of weird. But, um, as for Rex Banner, he's really cool. He doesn't have any voice, though, and apparently he died. I mean, not, I mean, some people say that he died because at the end of the episode, they shot him out of a catapult. You know, they were gonna shoot Homer out of a catapult as, um, punishment for being the beer baron. But, um, instead, they, uh, decided to shoot Rex Banner out of it, and he went flying out of town, like, miles away. And, um, people said he died, but he was in the Simpsons movie, too, you know, just one of the people in the angry mob, so I guess he didn't die. But, um, if you weren't around for the 4th of July update, pretty much, um, everything that went down, really, was instead of the beer baron, it was, like, the fireworks baron, so he was tracking down people in Springfield, trying to find out who was the person selling all the illegal fireworks and stuff. So, it was sort of like, you know, the same thing, but about, you know, 4th of July and fireworks and all that stuff. He has a 60-minute quest for Shop at the Quickie Mart, pretty much your generic quest that everyone pretty much has. He can eat a, uh, a banana kaboom for four hours. For eight hours, he can interrogate Flanders, and for 12 hours, he can stake out at the Quickie Mart, which is weird because I have a Quickie Mart, yet it says that I can't um, make him go there. You have to have two for some people to do Quickie Mart quests. It's the weirdest thing, but, you know, whatever. Um, his eat a -kaban uh, banana kaboom, I keep messing that up, is uh, pretty cool, just like this really cool, um, you know, ice cream, I guess, that he's eating. Um, doesn't look like he's enjoying it, he's just got that, like, plain old face on, but, um, still pretty awesome. He's not a premium character, and he cost, he didn't cost much, actually, I'm pretty sure he came with the Nighthawk Diner, and I'm pretty sure it was, like, only, like, 2,000 bucks, but, um, the Nighthawk Diner is really cool, and what's actually really interesting is, in the episode with this, um, place, the name was never revealed, so when it came into Tapped Out, that's when they actually had to think of a name for it. It was just a diner. Um, and then when they made it into Tapped Out, they had to actually think of a name for it, and they gave it the Nighthawk Diner. It's pretty much based off of the diner from the um, painting Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Um, forgive, forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm not really into art. But um, it's a really cool building. I like it. It's like, you know, you, it's uh, got unique colors. You know, it's a unique-looking building. Um, it looks like it belongs, you know, in more of a urban sort of settings, but, you know, it's still pretty cool and earns quite a bit for, um, you know, for how much we paid for it. Earns 500 bucks every 24 hours, and as far as I'm concerned, Rex Banner is the only character that can go in there. 
building task is giving insomniacs a place to go. Insomniac is just somebody who stays up all night and, you know, can't fall asleep because they think about stuff. And, um, it's building animation is just somebody in there with a cup of coffee reading a menu or, um, something. So, pretty cool. And, um, yeah, Rex Banner no longer available, obviously, since he was during the 4th of July update. But, uh, he has moved his way pretty high on my favorite characters list. I don't really know why I like him so much, but he's just got that, you know, kind of persona that's kind of interesting to me, just the way he is. But, um, really, I don't know, I think he's pretty cool. But, uh, unfortunately he doesn't have any voice, which sucks, so that's another downfall. But, um, whatever, so... That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Like, you know, there's not really much I can tell you about Rex Banner. He's not, like, a recurring character in the show or tapped out. He's pretty much useless now. But, um, you know, his building's really cool. I like that a lot. I love the episode he was in, and I love him. So, um, he's got a rank pretty high on my, on my list of favorite characters. And, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Peace out.